Hello everybody, good afternoon and welcome to That's Football. We're live for Aston Villa against West Ham United on That's Football. Hope you're all doing well this Sunday afternoon. Um, not been a super Sunday for Premier League. I mean, this is a super Sunday. It's a cracking game, but there's not been a lot of football, have there? Uh, oh my God, what's that? Um, I can't say what I'm looking at. Interna well, I don't know. International break. Um, so if you know, you know. Uh, international break. I hope you're all doing very well. Uh, we've had, and we've not really had a great start to uh, the Super Sunday. But one thing it has allowed me to do is we've had a lot of rain in the UK this weekend. And um, West Ham have nearly just gone 1-0 up here. There was an offside anyway. Um could have, could have ended up with a shot on goal, but not quite. Right, here we go. Villa down the right-hand side. Diaby. He's been very good this season for Villa. It's a decent pass. He's going to shoot. Oh, my God. What a save by Areola. You know what? I actually thought that was... Uh, it was Douglas Luiz with the shot. And uh, he's hit this well. Look at the curl on that by uh, Douglas Luiz. It's going straight up and over. Good save by the keeper as well. Fantastic shot. By Douglas Luiz from the edge of the box. Gets a lovely curl on it. And uh, Ariola there with a very strong hand just palms it away from the top corner. Good to see it. Not everybody's total shit is what I'm trying to say. Um, here's Diaby. Into Watkins. Oh, what a miss by Watkins. That is... Well, I mean, a player... Have, Emery's clapping the miss. But um, a player of his quality there, into his feet, on the penalty spot, from the RB, gets it under control. He's literally on the penalty spot, he controls it, and then he... Oh, I mean, really? It's such, a, such an easy chance for a player of his quality, and he's just put it wide. Ollie Watkins there. I've got him, I've got him in Goldbridge as well, I've just realised. If he scores us that, he gets me a bloody point. But still early days, there's still more for him. You nonce. You know the nonce, the guy who, well, he wasn't, he was accused of being a nonce, actually. And he was, goal! We've got a goal! We've got a goal! We're doing the Home Alone house and we've got a goal here for Aston Villa. Talk about timing. What a ball out by Pau Torres. Diaby, bad pass, really. Ollie Watkins on the left. Let's have a look what he does. Nice little pass into Zaniola. He's having a look, he's having a look, he's having a look, he's having a look, he cuts it back. Ollie Watkins, edge of the box, keeper can't keep hold of it. Is it Douglas Louise? I think it is. It's lovely play, it's lovely play by Villa from the back to the front, but uh, Ariola probably should do a little bit better, might be out unsighted a little bit. Good play by Zaniola, nice little layoff, Ollie Watkins assist. And then Douglas Luis. Oh, it deflects, to be fair. Ariola can't do anything about that. Um, told you yesterday about Douglas Luis, says Lake on the Moon. He's done very well there. Slight deflection, says Tyler. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good goal. It's a good goal. Imagine if they gave a penalty for that. I'll tell you what, that would be a massive injustice if they gave a penalty for that. That would be one of the most controversial penalties of the season. I think it's outside the box anyway. Imagine if that had been given as a penalty. I don't even think it's a handball. Bourbon biscuit or custard cream. I'd go bourbon, yeah. Ooh! He's given a penalty. It's a penalty to Villa. And it's Alvarez. We were talking about him before the game. Decision made. They've gone penalty. And uh, let's have a look at this, everybody. Let's have a look at this. It's gone into... Cons has won it. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, I think, I think it is. I think it is a penalty. It's very soft. It's very clumsy. I don't think he's done anything wrong, Alvarez. I think he's got to try and go for that. But uh, let's do a poll, penalty or not. That's a massive... It's a bit like the Chelsea game yesterday, isn't it? You know, 1-0 up at half-time. 
right at the start of the second half, you get a chance to make it 2-0. I don't think there'll be a way back for West Ham from this if they go 2-0 down. Ad says definitely a penalty. I think it is a penalty. I think it's just one of those things where sometimes you've got to make a... You, you've got to make a tackle and Cons has knocked it past him. Anywhere on the pitch, it's going to be a foul, so it's a penalty. Douglas Louise to get his second goal of the game here. Does take set pieces. And he takes penalties well as well. He's on a hat trick. It's 2-0 to Aston Villa. And it's hard to see a way back for West Ham now. The Villa machine keeps rolling on. They're very consistent, aren't they? Very consistent there. JR says that's legit a penalty. Mr. Yellow, you, you're thinking the same as me. Give it to Watkins, but uh, he hasn't. Um, um, Villa, but they're both going to get... Goal! Oh, this has put a cat amongst the pigeons. It's Bowen again. Bullseye. It's only a game, but you better believe I'm right. That's the wrong song. It's uh, time for a bit of bully. Time for a bit of bow at bully. Jared Bowen deflects off Torres right into the bottom corner. No one's saving that. It's never going anywhere near the goal. It's it's took a lovely slice of luck for West Ham fans. But it's given us a decent game here now. 56 minutes. This is what I mean about the Premier League. We saw it last night, didn't we? A mistake and Declan Rice scores. And we've seen it here. 2-0 down. West Ham. A goal back from a deflection. And that's how quick things can change. Massive says Bowen's on fire. Well, what do they say? If you don't buy a ticket, you can't win the lottery. You got a lot of luck there. But if he doesn't take the shot, he doesn't get the luck. And Villa, I still think Villa will win this game, but it's a bit of a it's a bit of a warning shot. Can't be a bit of can't be a bit of bully. Lovely ball over the top by McGinn. Ollie Watkins, he's into the box. He's got some players near him. He's going to shoot a goal by Ollie Watkins. That's three one. He's absolutely roofed it. And I tell you why I'm a little bit happy because I've got him on my goal bridge five goal predictor. So I've got Ollie Watkins, I've got um, Alvarez, and I've got Wissa. Three out of five. That's not hard. To, that's not easy to do, you know. Pick, you know, you pick three out. Of, I've picked three goal scorers this weekend from five. That's absolutely fantastic, and that's probably put the game to bed in the 75th minute. It's a lovely ball, lovely ball, McGinn. Watkins is on his feet. Lovely ball by McGinn. Defender Zuma probably should do a little bit better here because he's shown him too much of the goal. Um, he's, he's, I mean, it reminds me of Ryan Giggs against David Seaman at Villa Park. He's absolutely rocketed it into the roof of the net with the foot. I don't actually think Zuma's done a lot wrong and I don't think Ariola's done a lot, lot wrong. I think that's just absolutely superb um, striking ability. He's bloody blasted the shit out of that. This is a very... It's, yeah, you know, sometimes... Sometimes it's just not about a goalkeeping error or a defensive error. I just think that's top quality striking. Mark to play some decent stuff. Um, I think, oh, what? What a goal. Leon Bailey. What a goal. Magnificent. I mean, they're all playing it now. I've played the game. They're all playing the game now. Coming on, a, coming off the bench. Little shimmy. Sends whoever it is for West Ham back home. We're in London. But uh, look at that. Lovely bit of skill. Lovely finish. You're not going to miss from there anyway. But Tillemans with the assist as well. I mean, both subs coming on. Good attitude. Good contribution. It's just good football. You know what about you know what about Villa as well? The scary thing about Villa is it's not just a, it's a bit like Spurs. It's not, it's not by accident. It's just good football. Like it's good that they play good passes into feet in the box. And then they've got players in the box that can make things happen. And we've seen it with Watkins. We've seen it with Bailey there. They've, they've got players. If you get ball into their feet, they know what they're doing. They're on fire, says Tyler. Absolutely brilliant performance from Aston Villa again.